Let me just like let me just put my mic like directly yeah, next it. to my fucking Dude, mouth. Bro. Let me it just, just stick it in your mouth. <laughs> if you could pull a shoe nice and just swallow your mic real quick. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, and this is Escape from Tarkov. Let's get into it. Just that good. All right, bro. Let me hit that subscribe button. <laughs> My uh, my first grade year, and a kid uh, in my same class, he uh, held up a pair of scissors right as soon as a girl was sitting down next to him, and uh, like in her seat, on her seat, held him up, sticking straight up right before she sat down. And uh, the girl had to go to the fucking hospital. The little boy got kicked out of school in first fucking grade. But he stabbed the cooch. He didn't stab it. She it stabbed her in the ass. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. But uh, she sat down on, on it, and he like set it under. I don't know if he was joking or just a fucking evil kid. Sounds like, like some evil shit. It. That's him. The second one. Yeah. But, uh, no, I uh, uh, I had a kid who was in a grade above me in high school, and he pissed off this like emo girl. Like he. Okay, this this kid had like just biggest cojones out of everybody. But he like slapped her straight on fresh cut wrist through the sweatshirt like he just did it, like Snapchat story. Slapped her right on there and said nice tiger stripes. The girl got up, kicked him right in the nard steel to loose, fully split his left testicle open. Oh, oh shit. Had to get the life flighted to spoke and to get surgery to put it back <laughs> and sew everything back up. And I'm like never, never in my days would I think I would witness in 10th grade a motherfucker get absolutely flattened by a woman who is five foot three, 109 pounds, and have him physically die and never recover. Damn. Jesus. Yeah, but fully, fully split the left one from the back where it connects all the way to the front. Just. But he watches how the fuck he talks to women now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know if he talks anymore. I just. I just. I just. I if I physically saw a woman that had like dyed black hair and not, like eyeliner on, I just full mental breakdown, dude. Yeah, no matter stamina. Why am I in pain? You weigh a lot? Did you heal after the last break? I didn't drink anything. Oh my fucking god. Oh, so you're physically dying. Yes. Lovely. All right. Oh shit, I also didn't fucking drink anything. I, I have some vodka though. <laughs> I, I can just extract right here. Like, oh no, I don't. Ha I don't have enough rubles. I need some water. No, you don't. Water. Found an exit. Time to extract. Found an exit. Exit time located. To extract. <laughs> <laughs> like I got a half second of someone yelling something in Russian. No clue. I lived in a fucking Port Orchard. Oh, okay. When I lived there, so. Which, it blew my mind because everyone always said Port Orchard was like where the tweakers live, where the meth heads, and like, that's, that's a pretty nice looking place, dude. Like, you want to see some tweakers, come to come to Georgia. I'll show you some fucking tweakers. I used to absolutely be dog shit at this game, and then I put my nose to the <coughs> and my ball sack to a clamp, and was like, let's get this shit done. Yeah, I still haven't done that ball sack to a clamp part yet. Yeah. The thing is, we shouldn't suck, because we played like 800 hours in the game, but we still suck. Hey. Man, hours don't mean shit. I feel like fucking what, two thousand hours in Rust and I'm just dog shit at that game. Yeah. I've never played Rust ever. You don't want to, just stay away from it. <laughs> do you wanna hate yourself? <laughs> yeah, just stay yeah, away from it. I already do. <laughs> yeah, it's an awful time. I put four hundred hours into it and I wish I didn't. Like, it's just terrible. Terrible game. It's it's not terrible. The game's not terrible. The game is great. It's the people that are terrible. Yeah. It's like, like that Discord channel you were talking about, but like 200 of those people, and as soon as they see you, they kill you, and then teabag you, and yell racial slurs in your face. And then they sit outside the door to your base for literally six fucking hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see that guy running up? Far yeah. left? Two, yeah, there's yeah, two. They're still running. They're both in. They're going up. They're going down, yeah. Careful, it may be absolute go to pistols, you never know. Did they rotate in? I literally could. Yep, there is one. I just saw him rotate. Oh, he's going upstairs? Yep. Okay, follow me upstairs for backup. Yeah, I'm coming. One upstairs, other side. Came down, came downstairs. 
I don't see him on. Yeah, they're not on staircase. He just came down. Oh, he's at the bottom of the stairs. On their side. I think they're in that room. Lava nade bottom stairs. I'm watching the uh, the med room. Okay. They got a good side on the stairs too. Are they are they in that little armory room? Yep, I think so. We're on that side somewhere. I'm looking down. I, I haven't hey, seen any sick. movement. Did they run out? Let me throw another one. They did not run out. Where are they at? They're not here. For this next scene, which if you're here from my recent TikTok that blew up, you'll recognize. I was barely able to hear Pugs, and it led to what can only be described as instant karma for being the rant that I am and letting him fight these guys by himself while I was trying to secure the bag. Thanks to some studio magic though, I have enhanced the Discord audio. It made him a little bit louder and more understandable so you can hear him asking where I was at. Because I didn't hear him ask and assume that he knew. But that's when tragedy struck. Let's watch. I think I'm just out. Is you guys, are you guys running around upstairs? Oh, I'm yeah. dead! He's in a med room. Med room. Outside of it. He's at the bottom of the stairs. You good? I'm getting shot at right now. Black my leg. Fuck. I'm Need coming. your help. Coming, coming. I'm gonna die to this calf. Got one down. Need your help. Come on, I'm coming downstairs. Where the... Where? <laughs> Got one. Alright, now in a perfect world, I would have heard Pugs, and problems could have been avoided. But just for clarification's sake, let's roll it back and watch this with the actual audio, the stuff that I actually heard and that was recorded with no mixing involved. And you can see why mistakes were made. Come on, I'm coming downstairs. Ooh, got one. Okay, I'm gonna bleed out and die if I don't heal. Hey, there's two dead over here. One, one yeah, zip, I, I killed the guy that killed zip. One, another one. I'm running around. You hear him? Mopping. Oh, I'm oh, dead! Is that you? What the fuck? I thought that was you. I ran past the guy that was like wounded and I thought it was you. It was you! You killed me, you fuck! <laughs> yeah, I figured it was. Why I asked, is that you? <laughs> I knew it was. <laughs> Now, I just want to point out, not only does Premix Pug sound like he's whispering sweet nothings into my ear most of the time, but he didn't ask if it was me until after putting a bullet into my skull. Oh, is that you? Which honestly is fine. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, like I said, it's instant karma for being the proud yet cowardly rat that I am. In all honesty, though, even with minor setbacks such as this, I've been able to accomplish quite a lot in a short amount of time thanks to Pugs. I don't think in the last two wipes I completed nearly as many tasks as I have now. Destroy the child! Corrupt them all! And with that, I'm going to end it here, but I have plenty more to show you guys. If you enjoy the video, hit that like and sub. Also, drop a comment down below. I love reading them when I, when I do have time to get to them, and I almost always respond. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.